<laughs> uh, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared to meet a man with a heart of gold who cared for everybody so deeply, who would give his shirt and pants off to anyone who asked. I wasn't prepared to meet a man who would soften my soul with his love, his kindness, compassion, and respect. I wasn't prepared to meet a man who would jump in with both feet to not only be a stepfather, but truly a phenomenal role model and example for Max and Marley. I wasn't prepared to be loved so deeply for exactly who I am on my best days and the days when I'm giving the world the middle finger. I wasn't prepared the world had me believing you didn't exist. You flipped the script and became my world. I couldn't be any more proud, grateful, or honored to be standing beside you today. I get to spend the rest of my life with the greatest human, father, husband, partner in crime that I know. Hello, Kima. I promise to protect and guard your heart. I promise to not just hear you, but listen. I promise to be soft-hearted with you, even when I'm raging. <laughs> I promise to hold you accountable. <laughs> I promise to cheer you up on your worst days and remind you how strong you really are. And I promise to have your back and front. Hey. <laughs> I will, and also, I will spend the rest of my life being fully prepared to love you as hard as you love me. I love you. You're gonna be great. Jimmy. Man, I gotta follow that. Sheesh. Can I kiss her yet? No? <laughs> Almost. From the very first time we kissed, I knew that something was gonna be different with you. Over the last few years, I realized I had no idea. I had truly had no idea what that meant, honestly. Could have never imagined uh, to find somebody who loves so ferociously everyone, everyone that she cares about, loves them ferociously, would do anything. <laughs> would do anything to protect, to pet, protect her cubs, to protect her man, to protect her coworkers, to protect her, those below her, above her, around her. Honest, fair, will tell you exactly how she feels. Exactly how she feels. Doesn't matter where you are. Or who you are. Or who you are. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Someone who can find fun in any situation, brings her own vibe with her wherever she goes, because she doesn't need it to be a good time, because she's going to make it a good time, and everyone's going to remember that she was there. Everyone wants to talk to you. Everyone wants to be a part of your life. And, and I'm no different. I'm, I'm no different. And, and I'm so grateful that we were able to find each other and, and, and get through the things that we got through <laughs> to make sure that this moment could happen. I, I promise to, to always hold you accountable as well. I promise to celebrate your wins. I promise to pick you up when we fail together. And I promise to love Max and Marley with the same ferocity that you showed me the very first time you told me. I love you so much. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life. Friends, family, and loved ones, we come together today in the sight of the divine and of you as witnesses to join James and Morgan in marriage. We gather around them now in this wonderful place and we look on with love and hope for these two to begin their new life together as one. Marriage is a sacred institution in our culture. It's a tradition of partnership, of trust, of dependence on one another to navigate the sometimes stormy seas of life. People have said that marriage requires things like work, commitment, sacrifice, and certainly all those things are true. No matter what it looks like in the end, however, a healthy marriage always needs a solid foundation. It begins with love. The love we need comes from being willing to make those sacrifices. The love we need comes from 
being committed to working through everything together, and maintaining open communications even when it's most difficult. The love we need makes the work it takes to maintain it all worth it. On top of that foundation of love, a mixture of work, sacrifice, and commitment, we can build things like trust and intimacy and all the beautiful things that make marriage worthwhile. <laughs> James and Morgan, are you guys ready to proclaim that foundation of love for one another in the sight of the heavens and these witnesses? Yes, we are. Yep. Absolutely. For sure. Yes. <laughs> Morgan, do you take James to be your lawfully wedded husband? Will you honor and cherish him, love, trust, and commit to him through joy and pain, sickness and health, whatever life may throw at you both, till death do you part? I do. James, <laughs> do you take Morgan to be your lawfully wedded wife? Will you honor and cherish her? love, trust, and commit to her through joy and pain, sickness and health, whatever life may throw at you both until death do you part. I do. <laughs> <laughs> James and Morgan, having proclaimed your love and commitment to one another in the eyes of these loved ones, with the power vested in me in the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>